upscale videos and remove noise and compression problems with Video Enhance AI. Compared with other upscaling techniques, Video Enhance AI actually imagines the missing details to produce stunning videos filled with features that were missing from the original low-resolution video. In some instances, the incredible quality of Video Enhance AI makes upscaled videos practically identical to the same video in high definition. Getting started with Video Enhance AI is easy. Once you've downloaded the app, launch it, and either drag and drop or click to open your progressive videos. Interlaced video is currently not supported, but will be soon. Choose your desired output resolution, like HD 1920x1080, and click the Start button. After a few minutes of processing, your upscaled video is done. If there is a setting that you like to use often, then simply under the Process menu, choose Setting as Default. So from now on, every time you relaunch Video Enhance AI, your favorite settings will be the default. Now, diving a little deeper into the features of Video Enhance AI, you can also bring in a lot of videos for batch processing. As we look at each video, in the lower left-hand corner, the size of the video as well as the frames per second is highlighted so you know exactly what resolution you're starting from. As we look across the top, you can either advance through your video one frame at a time, or you can drag your timeline to go to the exact frame you'd like to start. Also, the convenient Mark In and Mark Out icons designated by the scissors will allow you to choose exactly the first frame and the last frame that you'd like to process in Video Enhance AI. On the right-hand side, we could choose from a variety of different AI models that will suit your needs for that particular video. Under Settings, you can choose what resolution you'd like to have your final output be. And then finally, under Output, under Format, you could choose from an MPEG-4 format, sequential JPEGs, PNGs, TIFFs that are at 8-bit or TIFFs at 16 bits per channel. Now, please keep in mind that when you do sequential TIFFs at 16 bits per channel, Video Enhance AI is not only increasing the resolution of your videos, but it's also increasing the bit depth. Now, let's do a quick preview of this video clip. I first choose the Gaia model for this particular video, and we can choose the preview icon in the upper right-hand corner. The specifications of your computer will determine the render times that can be as little as one-tenth of a second per frame all the way up to 30 or 40 seconds per frame for slower computers that will upscale higher resolution videos. After a few seconds of processing, the final results are on the screen, and as we pause to examine the incredible details of Video Enhance AI, let's zoom in to 200%, and as we look at the left-hand side in the original standard definition video, there is a lack of detail under his eyes, his eyebrows, and the general texture of the skin. Whereas now, as we look at the right-hand side, all of these incredible details, fine, minute, small details that normally would have been there in a high-definition video are now being imagined by the AI. And the same applies as we look at the lips. Once again, on the left-hand side, standard definition is just not enough to capture the fine details of the lines on the lips. Whereas on the right, the AI has done a remarkable job of imagining those fine details. Then finally, under preview, toggling off Zoom Original Video allows you to see the original resolution of your video in comparison to the upscaled video on the right-hand side. To exit the preview screen, just click on the Stop Preview button in the upper right-hand corner. As we continue to examine other AI models, one of my favorite models is the Gaia CG model, which was specifically designed to remove aliasing or the stair-stepping problems found in computer-generated images and camera sensors that drop lines while recording video. Once again, 
incredible results as we look at the preview, we could see the jaggies on the original video on the left side have been seriously reduced on the right by the Gaia CG model. And then finally, let's look at problems with videos that suffer from either noise or a high amount of compression problems. Now in this video, we can see that the sky has got those blue blocks that are so typical of highly compressed video. And for this kind of a problem, the special AI model is called Theia, which is the default model where you can choose how you want to restore the details, sharpen your video, or reduce the noise. Now in this case, the problem is so high that we're going to take the re restore details up to 100. For sharpen, we can bring that down to about 10 because the video doesn't really need that much sharpening. And for reduced noise, we'll bring that up to about a level of 20. Now of course, feel free to experiment with these to get exactly the results that you want. And let's do a quick little preview. Oh yeah! As we look at the left hand side, the blockiness is very visible from this highly compressed video, whereas on the right, Video Enhanced AI's Thea model has done a remarkable job of removing any of those blockiness problems. Then as we look across the, the mountains, mostly where the motion is here on the mountain, we could see that highly compressed video suffers from these popping or crackling artifacts. Whereas now as we look at the right hand side, as we play through the video, all of this popping and crackling has simply disappeared. When you're experimenting with the best settings for your videos, I highly recommend that you bring in multiple copies of the same video. So let's say we start out with this video clip over here at 720 by 405 resolution, and then we want to see which is the best AI model to use for upscaling this video. So just use the add video button and choose the same video clip again. So now for the first version of the video, you can maybe start with the Thea model, that's the default. And then for the second model, you can maybe change that to the Gaia high quality model. And so now every time you preview, you can see how one model is different from the other and quickly jump back and forth to compare the quality of each model. And once you're happy with the best settings, choose the version that you want to save out and click on the Start Batch Processing button. To learn more or download your free trial, visit topazlabs.com forward slash video dash enhance dash AI.